Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. You're all up in my face. Well, you got all close to me. That's why. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you can get close to me if you want, but the camera angle is going to be close too. Yeah. It is. Um, today is Tuesday, and we do have eBay orders going out today, of course. And uh, help. three three Mercari items and fourteen eBay. Yeah, this is a good, pretty good day yesterday. Yeah, we had pretty. a pretty good day. Um, we did a we did a bundle on eBay for somebody, and also on Mercari. Yeah, we did two bundles. Yeah, we had two people reach out to us about combining some things, so um, we did that. So we're gonna go ahead and get orders pulled, and then after that, uh, I know we, I promised y'all we would show you what we picked up on Saturday and Sunday at the sale. So we're gonna do that today. Yeah, and Candace might have found something really special. We don't know, but we think it might. It, it's definitely rare. It's real. It's either it's either really good or a really good fake. I don't know. <laughs> a fake? You think it might be a fake? You know how like in the in the 80s they came out with all the the fake antiques. They probably still do, but it was I don't know. Even if it is, it's still vintage at this point. Yeah, yeah, so. it's really cool. Anyway, um, we'll. we'll we'll stop talking around it and we'll show it to y'all in just a bit yeah sorry i know that's probably irritating <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go ahead and uh get started you want to start with mercari first Ooh, that would be weird you okay yeah we start? can do that okay all right so um we have a the first thing we'll do is the little uh we did a bundle for monster high someone reached out to us and mercari is kind of a learning curve for us usually when we do um like private listing type things we'll set the price really high and get them to send the best offer for the agreed upon price just so somebody doesn't snatch it up and buy it so i know lonnie did that on mercari but on mercari they can only offer for a certain percentage off it's like i think i want to say it's like uh five percent or something or thirty percent or yeah. somewhere in there so yeah this girl she wanted three different dolls mm -hmm. And but she didn't want to pay the it was going to be seven four seven dollars and forty cents shipping on each one, right? So, and I know on Macari they can do bundles where uh, Macari will kind of calculate the shipping based on weight, but when our our weights in there also calculate for the box for too. the packaging, yeah. So, so that was still wouldn't have worked out, and we would have had to use Macari shipping for that, yes. And I didn't want to use it for that, yeah. So I, I asked her, I I told the girl, I said, look, I can make, I can make you a, uh, a custom listing with the three things. I'll do free shipping on it. She told me where she was and you know, like in the country, not like her address or anything. Well, I, we have the address she did, now. She did tell you her address. Well, we do have the address now, but. Did she tell you to come see her? No, <laughs> but, but. Mr. Monster High. But she was really nice. So check this out. So. This was weird. Candace me. thinks Candace thinks it might be a scam. I don't think so. Automatically like scam but. alert, you know. So we came up with a price of fifty. I came up with a price of fifty-two dollars shipped for these three dolls, because I figured it would cost me about eleven dollars to ship to her, because she, she's she up in Washington State. She's on the whole other side of the country. Right. So anyway, I make the listing up. I put it at a hundred, and like Candace said. And I told her, I was like, look, here's the link to the listing. Offer me $52, I'll accept. Then she came back and said, I can't offer $52 because you priced it at 100. If you price it at 70, she'll be able to do it. And then, then she was like, I really appreciate you taking all the time to do this to save me money. And then, so I, I put it at 70 and then she offered 56. Yeah. And I was, I messaged her before I accepted. I was like, I was like, uh, did you mean to offer 56? We agreed on 52. And she said, I don't mind paying a few extra dollars for the time you took to take care of this. Yeah. And I, and Candace thinks it's scammy. I'm so used to eBay buyers. <laughs> I am too. And I was like, I, I can usually kind of, I feel like I could tell the tone. Yeah, I know. And I really think that it was legit. Like she just really did appreciate I see, it. She's I mean, being nice. I see a lot of nice scammers out there too, but I don't know what her angle would be. I got no, she has nothing to gain. I got, I got zero yeah. bad vibes. Yeah. I think it was and, just I a mean, nice. I was thinking about, I'm like, what does she have to gain from sending us too much money? She's not like, 
okay, I'm going to send you this. Would you wire me back this Exactly, much? right. It's not like that kind of situation. It was, what, $4? Right. You know? It was just a very nice gesture. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, and I, I was thinking about, like, de declining it or whatever, but that would have been rude at that point. Yeah, you might have insulted her. So I thought that was cool. I, I've never had something like that happen on eBay where we agreed upon a price and then somebody paid more no i, I have to pay you more it's like the american picture picker or something oh right exactly <laughs> mike wolf is always giving them more than they ask for but i've said before that the buyers of macari are nicer and i really think they are like even when even when we have like okay dracula we always sell for 30 unless there's something wrong with it right and we do not go down from that ever no. ever because they sell and we get them all the messages all the time offers on macari hey will you take 24 will you take 25 and we we try and politely say no no those sell really well for us at 30 so we don't we don't really take offers on that and then they're like okay no problem just thought i would ask thank you anyway like and always half real... the time they buy it at 30 right and they're always like super pleasant yeah they're never insulted or mean about it no it's it's awesome there yeah. i like it there yeah. now we don't do it's enough like the anti-ebay huh? <laughs> yeah we don't do enough business there to like say screw you ebay or anything yeah i talked to lonnie about um we need to cross post some more stuff and i was wondering we're going to test this out today if you get if you bring something in the list perfectly to cross post that's already posted on these websites will this what, perfectly what will do? this perfectly do will it make a duplicate or just reject it okay so we're gonna try that out today we'll try that after we uh show the haul thing yeah here. yeah all right let's go ahead and pull this order okay so she got a claudine wolf which is um team wolf on uh, yeah Ford, i never she echo. i know where that is a frankie sign okay we got a four echo is claudine wolf Okay, that's Claudine Wolf with the basketball. Frankie Stein. Okay, we got a Frankie Stein. And a Cleo Denial. The Cleo Denial's right here. Yeah. Okay. And then the so these are the three that we got $56 shipped for. Yeah. Oh, look, she's trying to escape. <laughs> All right, we sold a comic book on Mercari X14. That's the, That was exciting. That's the first time we've sold a comic book on uh macari like you anytime we sell anything other than monster high it's kind of fun because we know we could sell monster high there i wish we had you know candace wasn't too long ago when i i was like oh man we have too much monster high now i wish we had more uh, uh you know what we have how many frankie signs we have left how many nine that's it and so that means we have less Draculaurus. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're getting down to the wire on, on those two. And then those we'll have... Two. We have plenty of the others. And we're definitely deep into the profit at this oh, point. Yeah. yeah. All right, I got that comic. Okay, that sold for $9. Okay. And then we sold a Draculaura, Draculaura D. And that is plus shipping on that. Yes. Draculaura D. C... A, B, and D. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to miss these things whenever they're gone. I mean, they're steady little sellers for us. Yep. Okay, got it. All right, that's all the Mercari items. Okay, ready for eBay now. Huh? All right, yeah. On eBay, the next thing is the bundle we did on eBay. It's for five razors. Okay. And I have them already bagged up there in the razor drawer for you. Oh. They're just loosely bagged. They need to be packed better, but I just have them together there for you. Right. So, All this? Um, yep. We made a deal for five razors for 85 um, shipped. shipped. Yes. And that's shipped to Canada. Yes. Going okay. international Canada. Going uh, simple export rate on pirate ship. And I think uh, we figured this was like going to ship at a pound rate. Yeah. So it's like twelve fifty or something. Yeah. I can't remember what yeah. it is. All right. Next items in the Beverly drawer. It's a vintage Sony uh, antenna connector with the box. Yeah. This so was a. Box, yeah. This guy right here. Mm -hmm. Look, just the box is cool looking, huh? Uh, it does. How it had like this. Uh, they put it. Well, first of all, the color. Nowadays, it would just be like white or black or something. But you see how it's almost like a 
a fabric or something in uh, woven it's um it's kind of embossed it's got like a texture to it yeah like um yeah like fabric like a tweed or something yeah they used to make stuff like that and you yeah. could see the pattern like the way they made it but anyway i'm sorry going getting on tangent here how much we sell that for 15. okay um we have another frankie stein on nine echo Delta Echo. That's all for $13.50. Okay. Clea Denial 5 Bravo. Lots of this stuff going out, huh? Yeah. I mean, we had so much of this. $12.59. Okay. You sold a jersey on one alpha? Oh, good. Uh, Nike team, Michael Jordan. It's a blue jersey, a youth boys blue. Okay, I'm gonna go grab uh, the boxes and go through them. All right, Candace found it. I pulled the bucket down. Yeah, it's a uh, Washington Wizards Jordan, youth size jersey. It's blue. Sold for 27 plus chip. Yeah, that was it. Uh, I sent some 10% offers, and that was one of them. So we sold three jerseys now. Mm -hmm. Going pretty well. Still have a few to list in here to figure out what we're gonna do with. I'll, yeah. probably, I'll tackle that today after I pack. Two Bravo, uh, vintage new old stock Rockwood car amplifier. Yeah. Got, I got um, several new old stock things, a couple amplifiers and speakers and what not this is a guy buy from quite a while back and this is the last piece was that when we bought that vinyl from him yeah we bought a bunch of stuff that time yeah. you remember when we bought um uh, uh, the, the digimon too huh uh, the, yeah and remember the plush yeah the fruit the plush. fruit no or whatever what was that I, they were fruits for a drink or something yeah. and then we ended up selling those all like immediately for like yeah. That was those things were amazing. That was a great buy. Right, but yeah, that same day we bought uh, we bought this thing here, and we got how much for it? Ninety plus ship. Okay, that was a good one. Yep. All right, some more Monster High coming up. Two Delta, a Deuce. Well, you've been working hard on these, huh? Yeah. Nine dollars. Man. Five Echo Tora Lee. I'm gonna have to uh next time we go to store it. No. Or do I have more? No, those are not those boxes. Next time we go to storage, I gotta get more of these boxes. Yep. I've only got six of them here. Oh Probably man. For today, huh? Maybe I hope. Yep. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I probably should have enough, huh? Yep. Tora Lee is where? Five Echo. I can go this way. No, that's four. Five oh, Delta Echo. Got the megaphone. Yeah. Man, we hardly ever sell her. Yeah, she's not very popular. It's weird. At first, we were selling a bunch of those. Yeah, we went through a spurt where she was selling a lot. Yeah. Um, Twelve dollars and fifty-nine cents for that. All right, we sold a pair of sandals E4. Let's see if I'm gonna need the step stool. No, I can reach them. Now that we're selling a few of these things, I can act, I won't need the step stool as often. Yeah. Okay. They're sold for 15. Alrighty. We have a pen that's not a Walmart pen, but it's in the Walmart pen bucket. Number one. Number pen one? Yeah. LSU boot the bacon. Battle for the boot pen. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the play annual. Arkansas every year. Yep. And the two states, when you look at them just together, it looks like a tall boot. It's usually, like, historically, I'd say over the past 10, 15, 20 years, that game is usually competitive, too. Yeah, yeah. So it's a good game. That pen sold for 
$15.29. Yep, boot the bacon 2003. So yeah, oh, that has been going on a while. Yeah. That's uh, man, that's 20 years old. Yep. Where are we going now? Six Bravo. A book panorama of flight, aviation, history, and painting. Man, this shelf has like infinite number of things on it, doesn't it? Yeah. I'd like to maybe not put books on there anymore unless it's really something valuable maybe. Yeah, uh, yeah I found it. Panorama. This is cool. That's a nice book, yeah. Sold for $13. Yeah, I like that book. Very interesting. We have a calendar we're going to show you all later on that's uh, kind of yeah. similar to that. Five Bravo, Cleo Denial. Okay. It's starting to sound like I might run out of my boxes. I know. Yeah, because we have one more after that. I'll figure something out. All right. Cleo, got her. $12.59. Okie doke. And Deuce for $9. Okay. And then the last item going out today is R44 razor. Oh, that's a razor. <laughs> $15 for that. Right here. Here we go. Yep. All right. Pretty good little sales day here. Lots of, we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got ten Monster High going out Most today. Most of the stuff going out is Monster High, huh? A lot of it, which, which is good because we have a lot of it left still. Yep. All right, I'm going to get this packed, and then when we come back, we'll show you all the cool stuff we picked up this weekend. Okay, that is everything that is going out today. Uh, pretty pretty good for a Tuesday, huh, Candace? Mm -hmm. You sent out offers last night, right? I did. I did. Yeah. I sent 10% offers, and then I restarted the sales last night, too. Yeah. So, constantly making little tweaks like that. Um, I find if we don't do stuff like that, then sales... Can slow down quite a bit yep. you know and i would much rather sell something for 10 percent less than, than that sit for a year than not at all yeah you know so yeah. let me get this stuff bagged up and we'll take a look at the uh garage sale and estate sale stuff okay packages are away and candace has it's set this here is here and she set the stuff up on the bench or some of it some anyway. of it yeah this is half of it um garage sale ll bean duck boots um he said they've never been worn and i believe him i mean they're clean this is like they're just dusty they need to be wiped down with maybe some, windex too huh? yeah something or just some water on a cloth uh, yeah the insides are clean you can tell yeah um we paid five i think i can get somewhere between 30 and 40 for them I'll probably list them for 40 and just try that out. Those are nice boots. Um, while I research it, I did find it. If you get, if you find these LL Bean duck boots that have the, um, like the shearling inside, that's good money, like 80 bucks around that, you know, so okay. keep an eye out for those. Well, this is kind of cool. I paid $10 for this because Candace showed it to me. This was at that little highway sale we went to yesterday. It was hanging up in a barn. You know, look, a tribute to Hubble. Isn't that what was on that book? Yeah. That went out? That's the same design. Yeah. yeah. How about that? The book that we just shipped today. A thing like that. Yeah, it's probably got the same paintings as the book. You might. Because this, this calendar, hold that bottom. Look. Okay. Is all um, paintings of prints or prints or whatever. Yeah, a double so, for Rickenbacker. Rickenbacker. This is what we paid. Yeah. Yep. You know, look, that's it's almost like it wasn't like they just bought it and never used it or anything. Yeah. Um, this is coincidentally from the year we were born. Yeah. Yeah. And so there's it's really cool. It has like a little hanging thing up here. It tells you about the calendar. Yeah. It says, um, you can hang it right there. The 1973 TRW calendar contains an added feature. On the final page, you will find brief biographies of the three famous aviators whose favorite Hubble paintings comprise this final tribute to the most noted aviation artist of his time. 
Auto Bearings and Parts Company Machine Shop Service. Okay. These are the three people they're talking about. So this is like a, um, that's like an advertising piece or something. Yeah, they probably sold them to these different companies. And then and they just like printed their business. Private labeled it yeah. or whatever. Yeah, that, so that's pretty cool. Thought that was cool. I have no idea what that's worth. Like I just couldn't leave it behind for ten dollars. Right. Had to take a shot at it. Yeah. All right, um, this beer stein, we paid five for it, and we decided when we do be, buy beer steins, we're going to be kind of picky. Um, I like the fact that this one is tall, and it's got uh, detailed relief on it. That's one thing you want to look for, and it is stamped. The Walt is a um, pretty well-known stein company, and this one is made in West Germany, which tells you it's like um mid-century till um like 1990. yeah when the wall yeah yeah it's so, sometime between world war ii and right when the wall came down and i did just i found a website that lists every design this company ever made and you found there's hundreds one. of them but there's links you can click on and i didn't have to click on every one because i just looked for ones that had like that were had like couple ty tyrolean ty ty I don't know I'm saying it. I'm just butchering this name. Tyrolean couple. Ty Tyrolean couple. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to say it. I don't either. Yeah, there was a bunch of those. So I just clicked on each one and I found this exact one. Um, they say the value, and it says full color value, which is I'm assuming what we have, is anywhere from 40 to 60. On the, This is on this website. So, so I, I think it's it's probably about a thirty to forty dollar thing. Yeah, I'm gonna list it for forty and see if I get any hits. We got that for five at the same place we got those boots. Yes. And so they're both probably worth about the same too. Yeah. Um, estate sale. These little pins here, and um, Lonnie bought these because they're fourteen, twelve carat gold field. Yeah. Look at this. They still have the little price tags on them. Yeah. What brand is that? It's not Cross. I know it's uh, some other brand. Well, it's on the price tag. Oh, is it? Yeah, Schaefer. That's Schaefer. it. Yeah. Schaefer, they cost $8. This costs $8.50. And, yeah, it's uh, plated. And then there's these other pens that are just, like, wooden. Yeah, they, they probably went to a desk set, like, that kind. These are, these are like, cheapo pens here. Yeah, there's not even a brand on nah. them anywhere. But um, they were all for sale in the same box. You ended up paying, what, three? Yeah, three bucks. Yeah. That um, was an estate sale. These rollers are also at the state sale. It was half off day, so I paid two fifty for them. They sell for like twenty five to thirty. Uh, pretty clean. Yeah, I, yeah, that's the thing. You take a look and make sure none of the flock is like torn or off or anything, and that they're not real dirty. These do they do need to be wiped down a little bit. And it does have the pins back there. Yeah, too. and they have the pins. Um, so I paid two fifty for these. Okay. At the same estate sale, um, this is a box of the Princess style telephones. Um, they do have like discoloration. Yeah, they do. But you paid what five bucks each for them, basically. Yeah, I paid twenty dollars for the box. Yeah. And they're all Princess type uh, touch tone phones. Yeah. So, she initially wanted thirty five. Yeah. And I was like, because mm, I didn't like I didn't love the condition of them, so I offered twenty. And then she said 25 and i was like yeah i'll think about it and i went to go set them down and she said don't think about it just buy them for 20. I'm yeah like, she right. was like letting you doing deals with you she was like hard on me she didn't like me that was that's weird i know hmm. all right at that estate sale we got this um cabbage patch she had it marked 25 so it was um it'd be 12.50 didn't have the paperwork so i asked her if she'd take 10 and she was firm she's like no 25. no she would not deal with you um the, <laughs> the outfit is extremely clean and i did check the signature on her back end and it is the blue the original one of the original when you say back end do you mean butt yeah okay. her bahonkas her cabbage butt <laughs> her bahonkas Yep, so, but she's really clean. Looks like she was barely even taken out of this box. There is one spot here, which I'll be able to probably spot clean. Usually I just, um, if it's an area that's not like dyed sometimes, if water doesn't do it, I'll just get a little bit of alcohol and a Q-tip. And a lot of times that will take it off. Mm -hmm. You just have to be careful not to use a lot. 
<clears throat> you're not sure what this one's worth, huh? No, because I don't know her name. Or I'll have to, you can tell by their mold number two, so I'll have to kind of research that. Oh. Yeah, it's somewhere back here, so I don't, I don't okay. remember. I'm going to have to look it up. It was cool she still had her box with her. Yep. All right, at the um, garage sale where we bought the boots, um, we got these cookbooks. Uh, the whole stack for $5. It's just, you know, they did have a Roger. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. It's not in great condition. But no, it's not. Ugh, it's bad condition. Yeah. I didn't know it was that bad. Yeah. Ugh. Oh. Oh, man. It's, uh, mm. Oh, no. I can't sell that. Oh, no. I didn't flip all the way to the back. I just. Oh, kinda, man. That know. was the. That was. Yeah. I remember I picked it up. I saw it. I saw it. And I was, I reached. I'm like, can't she want that one? I could probably sell it for like 10 bucks, but I don't want to sell something. I don't want to sell something, something moldy. moldy. Yeah, yeah no. Golly. So, yep. Okay. So maybe we can. What is that usually? How much is that worth usually? Um, That can go anywhere from 20 to $40, depending on the condition. Yeah. You know? Damn. Okay. So yeah, just some, you know. Um, it's our standard cookbook stuff. Yeah. Now you did get a really good one though. This didn't one's you? interesting. It's very old. It's Louisiana Cooperative or Extension Service, Point Capi Parish. I have no idea like how old it is, but it's made with the old Brad's, you know? Yeah. There's some her favorite. All kind of handwritten stuff in there. Yeah. Okay. So I thought that was interesting. And then this, look at this big book. Uh, Houston River Baptist Church. Big old book. I bet that place is still open. Oh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, five for this stack. Well, you got another book too. Hmm? That you told me was really good. And it's not up where, here. Where are those books? I don't know. Let's see if we can find them. Okay, we did uh we, we found did, some more stuff. <laughs> yeah, we forgot we we forgot some of the stuff. So these two cookbooks here are from um the highway well they're all from the highway sale. I bought these two from one uh Stacey Ball. That's a pretty good book depending on which version you have. And I haven't had this one yet, a plantation palette. It's New Orleans recipes. And then just some more. Um, this Cook, is Cooking behind the fence. Yeah, Lonnie thought it was like prison recipes, but it's, it's <laughs> I did. Oak Ridge 43 Club. It, it's got, it oh. has to have something to do with the prison. Oh, I don't know. Cooking behind the fence, Oak Ridge Project, Clinton Engineer Works roster okay well they're not saying what it is yeah i don't yeah. know um and then this says i don't even know what this says the dar daughters of the american revolution, revolution. that's right that's what yep. it is yep so paid a dollar for all of these well no these three were two each and these were a dollar each okay um so got some interesting books there these were from the state sale also they're time life i'm not gonna take them all out yeah, they're all like 40s and 50s. Time there's, Life music compilations, yeah. There's, I think they're like big band. There's 24 of them in here. Mm -hmm. And I paid 50 cents a piece. And, uh, well, you think they're pro we can probably get about 40 bucks for no, them all, huh? The, I think 50 to 60. Oh, you think that high? Yeah. Okay, what are they called again? They're uh, Hit Parade, Time Life Hit Parade. Time Life Hit Parade, yeah. 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 Uh, nobody else bothered to look those up for some reason. I don't yeah, know why. this was on Sunday at the state sale, and we got there kind of late, like eleven o'clock. Yeah, and then I paid uh twelve fifty for this Sony. Um, this is a little more modern one. That is actually a um, the little the small little DVDs. Yeah, you can see they have a case in here for them. There aren't any in there. Are yeah, there? no. I hope I think I have some I don't know yeah. because they're worth they're pretty valuable so usually whenever I get do get some I sell them yeah I'm hoping there's one in here and I, I if not I think I have I may have some used but yeah ones. it's got the uh, cables and the book and everything yeah so, and yeah. the camera looks really clean yeah I paid 1250 for that and then that's a nice little camera bag it comes with too yeah it is is there something on the bottom did bottom. you open that zipper there? Yeah, there's a cable, some kind of cable. Oh, uh, okay, gotcha. All right, and then here's the most interesting thing I feel like we, we have bought. no idea if this is like a home run or just eh or what. I think it's at least good. I just don't know how good. Um, they are some kind of cast metal that's been painted or gold leafed. Um, it does say made in Italy or you know. Made Italy, it says. Yeah, made Italy. But look how interesting, it's a um, 
hippocamp. It's hippocamp. It's a horse with wings and like a, um, it's a sea. It's like a seahorse with wings. Yeah, basically. We thought they were cool. It's got like a flathead screw in there. So we have no idea how old they are. Or value or, or anything. value or anything. We, so we what, couldn't find any. We couldn't find this exact thing. We we both searched and searched using all kind of search terms. We found similar. We found like one that was electric, but and we found some tabletop that holds candles, but nothing wall sconce like this. So this is what I did. I found two Facebook groups, and I haven't posted them in there yet. It's kind of like um, what's that show? Um, PBS. Oh, the uh, Antique Roadshow. Yes, but they have people in there that will help you kind of figure out what your item is and maybe even value it. So I thought it'd be interesting to post them on there and see if I get any responses. Yeah, these are really very cool. I thought they were. I thought they were very neat. So, okay, so that bar across there is supposed to be how you hang it, I guess? Yeah, yep. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I, uh, you didn't pay much either, did you? Five dollars. And that was at the same sale where we got the boots, right? LL Bean boots, yeah. Yeah, that was a cool little sale. Yeah, you had we, some cool. That was on Saturday morning. It was like storming. Every sale we went to, we were pretty much the only ones. It was like private sales for us everywhere we went because nobody wanted to go out in the weather. Yeah, that's also why we don't have a ton of stuff to show y'all yeah. from this week. Yeah. And unfortunately, it's kind of looking like this weekend might be similar. Yeah, springtime in Louisiana. Yeah, yeah, so that that's why when we can buy, we usually try to because you never know. We don't know. I mean, it could rain for a month month straight on weekends here. It really could. Yeah. Like, yeah. we've actually had that happen where where it's like three weeks in a row we can't go because of the rain. Right. Yeah. You know, now you could still hit estate sales and stuff like that, but. Yeah, or like I did this past weekend, sometimes people will put on their rain or shine. I'll definitely go to those. Or church sales. Or if they run. have pictures showing their stuff under a carport or in a garage, you or, know. Yeah, but it ends up being a lot more driving per sale than it yeah. would normally be. Yeah. So, all right, well, good. We have some uh, fun stuff to research. Fresh and stuff. I just listed uh, seven razors. And then yesterday I listed about the same, so I'm about brazered out this week, at least right now. Is all you have left the brass colored ones? Yeah, I have. There's a few on my desk. And then this little bag here. So probably about 10 left. Oh, wow. They're going to need some good heavy duty polishing, though. And, um,. And and you I, have all the boxes. Yeah, like I just listed the razors I listed today, these boxes actually go with. I probably should have. Maybe I'll relist them with some of the boxes. Charge a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, that box isn't in bad shape. Mm -mm. Nothing wrong with it. Yeah, so okay. I just, I can't ever do it on the brass, so it starts to make me nauseated. So I have to take a break from it. Yeah. So. All right, we're going to get to work and list. Okay, we're uh, we're doing a little listing. Actually, we've been, it's after lunch. We've been working for a while now. Yeah. But my pens, the 12 karat gold Schaefer's, uh, I think I can easily get 35 for those. And then these, this other set, that name that's on the top of the box, Bruce Abbott San, of San Francisco. Uh-huh. Um, I actually found a sold Oh, for that those. goes with these pins? Yes. Oh. The, that. Man, Bruce, how lucky is that that you have that box, huh? Right, right. Because without that box, I wouldn't have bought these. Right. And these aren't worth a bunch. The sold I found... It was for like a wooden pen and then a wooden letter opener. Somebody got 10 bucks and that's all I found. I haven't looked at worth right. point, but you know, I'll take $10 for it. Mm -hmm. I don't care. But uh, yeah, these are probably worth about 35. If you had the box and everything, you can get a lot more. I, I might even be able to get 40 for these really. And uh, yeah, so. Um, and I found some mini DVDs and look, here's something else cool. Wait, no. I no? Have, we, I have some bad and good and bad news. Hmm. with my cabbage patch Wait, okay doll. tell them the good news first y'all want to hear the good news first yes. yeah okay so i listed just the outfit um so okay let me back up I, I looked at the stamp on the back of her head and she was made in spain that's some of the the definitely earlier original ones and they're worth a little money more money with that stamp and her clothing is also have it's a it's jesmar is the name of the company spain jesmar spain so just researching Cabbage Patch Jesmar, we saw 
her outfit being sold by itself for good money. Um, so this is the good news. I listed her whole outfit, the shoes, the socks, the overalls, the shirt for 120 plus ship, and it sold within an hour. That's awesome, Candace. That's great news, right? That is. You want to hear the bad news? <laughs> Candace, why'd you sell that without the doll? <laughs> Look, I, I, I have knots in my stomach right now having to show you all this because it's so freaking embarrassing. And Lonnie was like, we've all done stupid stuff. Just show. I, have, I, have, I do stupid stuff. I don't normally tell thousands of people about it, but yeah. <laughs> we've all done stuff like this, Candace. Set some stains on her arm. You know, I cleaned up this. You can still see a little bit. Looks way better. Yeah. And then, I, you know, I took the um, I took the heat gun and kind of dried it. Because if you don't, it'll leave like a watermark, right? Mm -hmm. I did the other side. And I left the heat on there too long. Oh, my God. I'm so embarrassed. And, and I told Lonnie, I mean, we're still making great money, but it's... It's, it's not the money. It's not the money. It's the whole fact. And I always stand by this. Like, this poor little doll has lasted how many years in this condition? And here comes Candace with her magic heat gun burning a hole in the doll. So, I'm going to... This doll, we probably could have gotten 200 for everything. The outfit, the doll, the box. I'm going to sell this doll for like 30 bucks. Somebody will, somebody will buy her. Because if they have a long sleeve outfit, it won't show. Or somebody might even know how to fix it. Or, like you said somebody might have a, a perfect body and you could take the head off right mm -hmm. and could swap heads out and somebody might make another doll that's not perfect yeah but let me show y'all she she's got the blue stamp which is 1985 um y'all y'all probably can't see but it says made in spain right here this is a number one right here is the doll head model that's a number one you'll see in the listings it'll say like hm1 that's head model one um head mold not model i'm sorry head mold one um she's got the made in spain tag also so see right there made in spain and all her clothes have made in spain jesmar so so yeah i hey we all mess up oh look whenever it happened i thought i was gonna puke all over this floor y'all i was so disgusted she was i was I, and i was I, I mean i was about to start crying i, I was holding it i was trying to hold it in because I was like, I can't believe I did this, you know. But, I mean, we're still making great money off of it. It's just... It's not like, the money, though. I know, it's not. It's okay. And to all the Cabbage Patch collectors out there that may be watching, I am so sorry. And I'm I'm not making a mockery at all. I'm, sinc I'm sincere. Yeah, you know? no, Candace is like that. I mean, yeah. you're... Candace, like, actually... Like, yeah, we, we buy and sell to make money. There's no doubt about that. Because we have to. That's how we live. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we really do respect mm -hmm. the things that we buy and sell. And we like the part where we bring it from a place that's not wanted to a place that's wanted. So, yeah. this is heartfelt. And if you got, like, I mean, a lot of times we do things here. And, you know, people can second guess us and critique us and things like that. Because we're not perfect. I understand that. And we everybody chooses to do things differently. I understand that, too. But, um, you know. I would ask if you do have something um, critical to say this time, just hold it if you can. Yeah, there's no reason for because I've already said it all to myself already. Right. She knows. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need to hear it. So, yeah. So. But yeah, we wanted to share it. So, hey, be careful with heat guns out there, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, hey, so the good news is, though, Candace, you paid. 1250 for that and we've already we've already made over a hundred dollars gross yeah. on it so as far as like and i'm gonna include the box when i sell her so somebody might buy it just to get the box I yeah yeah so. but uh yeah we wanted to share it's not always good times and big money and well today it's big money here but it's not always great times and look how awesome everything is sometimes bad stuff happens and, and sometimes we, we don't like to hide stuff but you know um, right because i told lonnie i said what am i going to do show us pulling the outfit and they're going to be like where's the doll you know right why would you do that dummy yeah. <laughs> what'd you do with the doll so it was kind of sad and i asked candace i was like do you want to share this on the channel or not and initially she said no 
and I was like, you know, Candace, like, a lot of people do this kind of stuff, and then they feel bad about it, and, like, it might help. Like, if, if you've done something like this. So, look, down below, instead of, instead of raking Candace over the coals, because she doesn't deserve it, and she's already done it to herself, and she's going to continue probably to do it to herself for a little while. Instead of doing that, share with us a time, because we've all shared, like, times we've been scammed or other people have done things to us or whatever is there a time where you ruined something like something that had value and you tried to clean it or or you dropped it or whatever yeah. and like you lost a bunch of money or, or broke something that was like really valuable mm -hmm. like through your through your efforts so yeah. yeah i'm proud of you for sharing that though candace thank you all right, I just turned the camera off and Candace said, I think we need to close the video now. So fair enough. We're, we're going to do that. Thanks a bunch for watching and we will see y'all again very soon. And that's the saddest $12.50 into $120 clip I've ever filmed in my life. Like we should be doing, we should be doing backflips to make $100 on that thing. But, yeah. but anyway, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye y'all. Bye.